What's up guys? I know I'm not the only one that was wondering what the number one print on demand website for us sellers to be on is. And I'm going to show you kind of the logic I use to try to determine that in this video. But basically as a general rule of thumb, if we're selling something, whether it's print on demand or not, uh, it's typically good advice to what I know someone just finished my sentence. You follow the customers. Of course you guys already knew that because if we're selling stuff, but we don't have customers, we're not making any sales. So we're going to follow the customers. I'm going to do some, you know, evaluating to see, try to identify what the best opportunity for us to be selling our print on demand products is in this video. And of course, I'm going to give you my thoughts along the way. So let's get started. Real quick, before we get to the video, just wanted to remind you, I run a weekly print on demand giveaway. It's completely free to enter. This week is sponsored by Merch Titans Upload Automation, Merch Ninja Research Tools, All Sunsets, Premium Graphics, and Bubble Scout, the only Redbubble niche research and validation tool. You'll find a link in the description to enter, and it takes like 10 seconds. Two winners are selected every Sunday. All right, so I'm going to use Google Trends and try to, I mean, to me, this is like a great way of evaluating things from the buyer side. So instead of um, looking up words that sellers would associate with, I'm just going to kind of look up the marketplace name and evaluate how, like the search volume in Google. I think that's a pretty fair way and standardized way of evaluating like where the opportunity lies as print on demand sellers, because these are all marketplaces where we can sell print on demand products. So I'm going to split this up, though. First, we're going to look at what I consider to be tier one opportunities. This is going to be like the upper echelon. I don't know how to say that word. Echelon? Epsilon? It's not epsilon. It's echelon, right? Uh, the top opportunities <laughs> for us to make sales. So I started by typing Amazon merch, and then I set the time frame from past 12 months, which is the default on Google Trends, to past five years. So we get a larger sample. By the way, anybody who's never used Google Trends before, it's just google.com forward slash trends. You should check it out. All right, so here you can see we have the five-year time frame uh, interest over time. And while it doesn't tell us the actual number of times that this was typed into Google, by the way, this doesn't have to be an exact match. At least that's my understanding. Uh, I think this is like a phrase match more or less where it's kind of included in the order that we um, type those keywords in. So anyways, you can see here that it actually spikes every December. Uh, so I think that also has some correlation to the fact that the word Amazon is included in the search, which is representative of the market. And then actually, you know what I realized is, of course, Amazon spikes in December. That's when the, the most sales take place. Uh, I realized then that I needed to switch the keywords Amazon merch to just say Amazon, because the only way to really do a fair benchmark is to look at what the customer would search. Most customers don't know about Amazon Merch. So we switched Amazon Merch to Amazon. Then up there where it says add comparison, I clicked into there and I typed in Etsy. All right. Then I went ahead and I typed in eBay. So you see here, Amazon is represented in blue, Etsy in red, and eBay in yellow. And I went in for good measure, even though I do not sell print on demand on Walmart yet, because, you know, I haven't really even applied recently yet. I'm just so busy. It's like one of those things I want to do. But if I get accepted, I, I don't know a way of automating uploads right now. I think I, uh, I think Travis said I could batch upload. If you guys missed my interview with Travis, that was a good one. He's crushing it on Walmart print on demand. And uh, I guess there's no excuses. I could definitely just do that. But anyways, for a different day, as you can see here, Amazon appears to be the number one opportunity uh, in blue followed by Walmart in green, followed by eBay, followed by Etsy. But here's the thing. So if I just look at Google Trends, this is the order that they would come up in for the tier one opportunities. Now, we're also going to look at tier two opportunities in a second, so stay with me. That's probably the more interesting one. Uh, this was kind of telegraphed, but actually, you know what I'm going to do? Citing my own personal experience, I'm going to flip Etsy with eBay. Now, even though Etsy gets lower search volume, according to Google Trends, based on pretty much everybody's experience that I'm aware of, I think most people that sell print on demand are more successful selling print on demand on Etsy than they are on eBay. And I think it may have to just do with customer expectation. Uh, like I, you know, anybody who's subscribed, who follows my income reports, you know that recently I've been taking eBay more seriously and I went from making like 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, you know, $100 a month to I think just about $800 a month profit, by the way, the last two months. And that's nothing crazy, but like 
if you've never sold on eBay, by the way, you kind of have to scale your account up the way you do with Merch by Amazon, where it's like the more consistent sales you make, the more products they'll allow you to list. So anybody who's not on eBay, you are missing out on money. And it's worth starting out, uh, seriously, because what if down the road you've got like all these great ideas and you can't even post them because you didn't get started early enough. So eBay, don't sleep on that. Even though I did put it as number four on the tier one rankings, you know, if you can make $800 a month, that's not bad, right? That's nothing to scoff at. So the ultimate order for tier one is Amazon, followed by Walmart, followed by Etsy, followed by eBay. Now let's look at the tier two marketplaces. And the first one I'm going to look up information on is Redbubble. Also, notice the interesting decline there uh, that started, it looks like, in mid-2020. By the way, mid-2020, I mean, Redbubble was on fire. That's when I started doing Redbubble print-on-demand videos, like, a little bit more regularly because I noticed that, like, the views on Redbubble videos were going crazy relative to everything else. So I was like, all right, if if everybody wants Redbubble content, I'll do it. Uh, So here we go. Redbubble (laughs) looked like it peaked in the middle of 2020. You can kind of see there. Uh, interest and now it is roughly at half of what it used to be okay so now let's compare to teespring all right well redbubble still relative to teespring uh, much more interest t public now and you see t public there in yellow and it is drawing less interest than teespring spreadshirt now i actually do make some regular sales on spreadshirt but it looks like it is probably as of out of these four um definitely in fourth place i know i'm blocking i can hide myself really quickly and zazzle so there we go we see zazzle actually jumped above redbubble recently that guys take note of that uh that's a good thing why i hid myself by the way because if i didn't i'd be blocking so zazzle is the purple line right there and it for a period of time was jumping above redbubble in terms of google trends interest and that can be representative of both sellers and buyers but i think it's very safe to estimate that there are more sellers than buyers, just given the nature of, I guess, let's just say human nature. Um, it's a lot easier to not start an online business and just buy things than it is to start an online business and sell things. So chances are the search volume associated with Redbubble and associated with Zazzle and all of the sayings up here, all the, the company names, uh, most likely are buyers, right? I think it's safe to say that, you know, we can, we can assume that if it is sellers, that it's probably equal across the board, so we don't have to, to worry about it. So ultimately, the tier two rankings, according to Google Trends, and I don't really have that much of a disagreement, although Teespring at number three, eh, I'm not really a fan of Teespring. Like I, I don't know what it is if they throttled my shop or something, but I did not make very many sales on that platform to date, and I've posted a ton of products. I don't even know. I don't even bother counting. So anyways, tier two rankings, Redbubble comes in at number one. They get the trophy. Zazzle at number two. Keep an eye on Zazzle. I know you guys just saw this chart here. Um, Again, I'm blocking it, but behind my head, I just ducked down. Uh, You can see that Zazzle is definitely growing. It's on the upswing. Uh, Teespring, number three. Public coming in at number four. Spreadshirt at number five. Now, Public actually, I was making consistently over $100 profit each month. So if I was just going off of my personal experience... And ignoring the Google Trends data, I have Redbubble at number one, T Public probably at number two. Although I know they've been making changes lately, so um, I, I don't I don't know for sure if it still represents a number two or not. Uh, but Redbubble one, T Public two. After that, I'd probably put Spreadshirt at three, Zazzle at four, and Teespring at five. That's based on my personal experience. And of course, guys, you can subscribe to my channel, keep up with my passive income reports. I've got one dropping on Thursday, and um, also you know my website. Uh, you can check out the income reports there as well so anyways guys uh, oh yeah before i wrap up did want to mention that (laughs) these tier three marketplaces you can automate uploads to them Uh, i forgot to even look at society six but you can automate uploads to them meaning like you queue up your uploads you click one button and then the automation pushes to teespring zazzle t public spreadshirt printful redbubble merch by amazon society six the application that i use that is my personal preference that i've been using for over two years is called merch titans automation and, uh, you know, I can only speak to my personal experience that I, I enjoy it. I use it every day. It saves me a ton of time and it's quite easy to use once you have it set up. Uh, I have a systematic approach to using Merch Titans. And if you would like to learn that from me, I 
include that in the bonus section of all my print on demand courses. It's not something that I think is like great YouTube content because it gets kind of technical in the spreadsheets, but like once you've got it set up, it, it kind of just takes care of itself. So anyways, guys, I'll put a link to Merch Titans in the description below if you would like to check that out. Also in the description below, I've got a link to my eight day print on demand mini course, my print on demand Facebook group. And last but not least, as I just referenced, my full print on demand course, walking you through how I make six figure print on demand sales every single year, which again includes full tutorials for how I use automation, including a bunch of exclusive discounts on print on demand tools and freebies. But specifically, it has an exclusive discount for anybody that signs up for Merch Titans automation. So um, try to make it as valuable as possible for you guys that have joined. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching until the end. I appreciate you, appreciate your time. Do me a quick favor, hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you soon.